What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at custom items and possibly raise if we get the chance and if the time's looking good. So once again, make sure not to skip around in the video or you guys could miss some code which could drastically change how your plugin works and sort of its functionality. And lastly, make sure to follow me on GitHub because everything we code today is going to be on there for you guys to uh, either, you know, check your code or even if you guys just want to reference it just because you may not remember something quite right. Um, but let's get started. So we are going to head over here to our events class. Now we don't have to do the custom items in our events class. It's just where I'm just going to write it so we don't necessarily have to make um, a whole nother, um, we don't necessarily make a whole another class. Um, but actually, you know, now that I'm thinking of it, let's just go ahead and do this. So let's right click on our main package here. Let's go to new class. And let's just make a new package called items and we'll call this one custom items. So our class is going to be called custom items and we made a new package called custom items. So let's just clear that. Um, so we're not going to do anything on this here. So what we want to do in this custom items is implements listener. Now I don't know how often you really have to use implements listener. I really just throw it on most of my classes just to be safe. Um, but what we want to do now is we want to create an item stack or actually, you know, let's create a method here. Uh, well, no, no, let's create an item stack first because we can we can do something here. Well, no, 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 no. Let's let's create a constructor. So public void give items. All right. And then we're going to call for player player inside of here because we're going to need that in just a minute. Um, Okay, okay. We actually are going to use this events class. I was kind of thinking how I wanted to do it, and we're going to use it. So let's create an item stack here, and we'll call it item, and we'll do new item stack. And so commonly, you're going to see a lot of custom items, such as you know weapons or anything like that, right? So what we want to do is let's just use uh, material dot diamond uh, let's just do diamond axe and then we'll do one for one of those and now we want to get its metadata so we're gonna say item item meta equals meta um, item dot get item meta and I will control shift import that or well control shift O that and now we have its meta and now we want this because we want to do meta dot you know we can set its display name so we can do chat color dot aqua and we can say x of uh, Zeus or something like that just something something crazy right and we can also do meta dot add an enchantment if we wanted to do that we can also add an enchantment but we're gonna have a different video about enchantments um, just because it is a little bit uh, tricky right so we actually want to, so we're actually going to create um, some lore. So basically text underneath it. Um, so we want to create a new array list of strings. Um, and this is going to be lore equals uh, array list of strings. And let's import that. Oops, I forgot to new, new array list of strings. There we go. Uh, let's fix our code there and now we can go lower dot add and let's do chat color dot white and we can just say power 10 you know just you know just simple things uh, well not power 10 let's just let's just give it some cools used by Zeus in the great god battle just something silly again nothing too crazy and now you can add more lines just by simply doing lower dot add there um, so we're not gonna add more so we're gonna do meta dot set lore and we're going to just set it as lore and so now we're really just doing I am moving kind of fast here but I, I want to stop here for a second so you guys can get a chance to read this code and so I can explain it for you so you guys already know about item stacks right we talked about this in a, in a past video so we're just creating a new item stack and we're giving it material diamond axe. But we want to get its metadata. And it's so, so we need to do item.get item meta. And that's basically everything that has to do with that item's information and the information that it gives out. 
And now what we're doing here is we, or what we did here is we called it just meta, like we called the item of the diamond X item. And so we want to do meta dot, and we're going to set the display name. So we're setting the display name. And now how lore has to be done is lore is an array of strings or a list of strings. So we created an array list here. Um, so I guess you're kind of learning about arrays. So you are learning about arrays. I didn't even really think about that. So we're creating an array list here of strings. Okay. That's what this means. And then we're giving it the variable of lore. And then it has to equal a new array list of strings. And now here is lore, which is used right here. And we're adding some lore there. And now we need to set that lore with the meta or to the item. So we're going back to meta, which is the item meta. And then we're setting the lore as lore, which is our array list. I hope that made sense. And now what we can do is we can do meta dot set or not, sorry, not meta. So we can do item dot set item meta meta. Right. So now this new this item stack here is going to have this item meta author here. And then what we want to do is we just want to do player dot get inventory dot add item item. And now what we want to do is we want to do an event here, right? So at event handler, and we want to do public void on join player join event. Well, I don't want to do player join event. So we're just going to do uh, on punch. So player interact event event. And I didn't want to do on join because we're going to save that for a later video. Um, so now what we can do here is we can call this this custom items and you can do it statically. Um, so you can do public static void. And now I can just do, you know, give items to um, we got a call for player. So player player equals event dot get player. And now I can just call you know, player here and let's import these. And oh, sorry, we have to do custom items here dot give items to the player. And it just kind of went on its own and added the rest of it there. Now you really should avoid using static um, if you don't really need to. This is a really simple class. So uh, we can use it. Um, but most times you really shouldn't and what we can do instead of using statics is we can call for this class here so we can do private and then we can do custom uh, items equals oh so we want to do uh, we'll just do ci equals new custom items um, so we're basically just calling this class here and now what we can do is we can just do ci give items and now this should work if everything is going correctly here so pretty much whenever the player interacts it's going to call this method over here and it's going to give the player it's going to add that item to the player's inventory so let's see if it does do just that uh, so let's clear so as you can see there uh, when we are interacting here it is giving us this uh, this item and now you can see there, oop, I dropped my phone there. You can see there that it still has all these old attributes. And if you guys are wondering why I have that minecraft.diamondx MBD tags, um, it's because if you do control or if you do F3H, um, you can get these tooltips turned on or off. So we should probably just turn them off for this. But now you, you can see that I still have uh, all this extra junk down there. And let me just try to remember real quick if I can remember how to get rid of those. Um, I want to say that you do meta dot add item flags item flag dot hide attributes there we go so if you do meta dot add item flags dot item flags hide attributes it's going to hide pretty much any attribute that that item usually says in its tooltip here so we want to clear our items there and let's get a new one here and now you can see there it says acts of zeus used by zeus in the great god battle so that's all I have for you guys today. I would like to thank you all so much for watching and tuning into this series. You guys have all been really great. Um, I'm really enjoying this series. I really like helping people learn bucket encoding. Um, and I just like helping people learn in general because I like teaching people what I know because I think most of the stuff that I learn is usually pretty cool. It's just usually hard for other people to understand. 
And once again, you can guys can follow me on Twitter at the underscore source underscore code, or you guys can tweet the hashtag uh, hashtag TSC coding and make sure to follow me on GitHub because the project files will be on GitHub for all these videos. And thank you all so much for watching and tune in next time. And next time we are going to be looking at, well, the next video is supposed to be item meta data. So we already kind of did that. So we're not going to do that, but it's going to be custom recipes. All right. Thanks for watching.